Happy New Year. Thanks for joining Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church for the Upper Room Devotion. Today, Saturday, January 1st, 2022. Our devotion was submitted by Frein Paola Sedano Barraro from the Dominican Republic. <clears throat> The passage that is suggested to read today is Psalm 90, verses 1 through 12. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You sweep them away. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. We are consumed by your anger. By your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days pass away under your wrath. Our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are 70 or perhaps 80 if we are strong. Even then their span is only toil and trouble. They soon are gone. And we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. So teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. The focal passage for this devotion is Psalm 90, 12. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. The title of the devotion is Counting the Days. This year, I resolved not to forget what day it is. I know it sounds a bit absurd to forget what day it is, but sometimes it happens. In high school, we were instructed to write the date on each page of our notebook. At university, this practice was not required, making it easier to lose track of the days. Today's reading reminds us to think about how we spend our days. Do we pass our time not even knowing what day it is? Or do we gain, stri do we strive to live life to the fullest according to God's will, gaining insight and praising God? Today is a good day to begin to live a purpose-filled life guided by the Holy Spirit. Now, using a pocket calendar, I have found a tool that helps me set and remember my agenda for each day. Each day we live for God is significant. It offers a new opportunity to bless the Lord and bless others. Each day we can ask God to teach us to number our days and increase our knowledge. The thought for the day is that my agenda today is to be grateful for God's blessings. Our prayer focus is gratitude for the start of a new year. Please pray with me. Giver of life, each day is a gift from you. Help us to acknowledge the, that gift as we work to do your will and praise your name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you have a great day. God bless you.